It's another show out there. It's called El Chapo. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad motherfucker. The Chapo? Man, it's the real life story of the Mexican drug lord who dug tunnels. He made it on Forbes magazine, and every time they put him in jail, he'd be like, mm. uh, I think I'm, I think I'm a move. And um, <laughs> he'd go to his restroom. He already had a whole secret compartment. Ta -ta -tas. And he just went down his own custom slide like a boss. <laughs> Extra loops, just for fun. Lands on a scooter and sing a summer. Go, Chapo, go, go, Chapo. I'm on a. You ever binge watch something so much, you start to slowly think you in the show. Enough episodes, you, you start thinking you the main character and shit. You just, or like his sidekick, you just, oh shit. You start holding a remote different, oh, jump, no, dog. I got you, fool, hey, get down, dog, da, 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 da. I got you, dog. Let's go, fool. Start keeping it in your waistband. What's up, ba what, babe, what's up? Hold on, let me pause it. Da, da, da. What happened? Don't be just, 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 you know, startling me and shit. I'm watching Chapo. I, I was in the middle of a Chapo binge. I was like, in there, chopped out. My dad start texting me. He's like, "Mijo, I miss you. We need to meet up." Mijo, I miss you. Meet up. Miss you. Meet up. I was like, well, "That's a setup, bro." Like, <laughs> miss you. <laughs> he spelled it right in everything. This can't be him. Everything about this ain't him. I said, hell no, it declines. <laughs> One night, I saw an entire season of Chapo. In Chinga, das, episode after episode, das, das, fuck yeah. The Netflix, it was like, are you still watching? <sighs> <sighs> Bitch, don't be da, 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 asking me stupid shit while I'm Chapo'd out. <laughs> the next morning, I had to get up early to give a speech at my daughter's fifth grade class. On my way up there, I was reminding myself, Chingo, this is very important. These are, these are the kids, man. You got to reach the youth. And, and I was sitting there with my coffee in the car. I'm like, damn, fool, what are you going to say? Then I, I took a sip. I was like, damn, what would Chapo do? <laughs> I stepped out the car. Tss, fuck that coffee. I gave them kids a motivational speech of a lifetime. I said, kids, think about your goals. Focus on your dreams, write them down. Don't stop till you knock every one of them out. Look at your goals, it's a focus, focus, focus. It's not gonna be easy. Haters like to put up walls. They wanna keep you away. Away from where the goals and the dreams are at. What are you gonna do, give up or figure out a, figure out a way? I'm not here to instruct you how to reach your goals, but find your shovel and you're gonna have to dig, dig deep. Get to the other side, to wherever your dreams are, and throw some over the fence for the rest of us. What would Chapo do, kids? I'm glad y'all liked it, because the school district was like, ah, oh, Mr. Bling, can I talk to you in the hallway? Ah, I'm grown. <laughs>